Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over the web activator to activate your PSN account offline to enable the remote play and to copy saves over. In our previous video, we did do it, we did cover it using a PC, but this method allows us to use the PS4 and we no longer need the computer. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, if you're unsure of how to get your user ID, you can watch that previous video. I'm not going to cover it in this one. I think what we'll do is we'll just do a random user ID and then uh, you'll be able to see how that's done. So we'll go ahead and go into our settings and we'll just confirm our network is connected. If it's not, we'll go ahead and check it. Once that's done, we'll back out and then we'll start the usual here. Just close the window, delete all, window our browser history, clear that as well. And then we'll go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now we'll go to our bookmarks. We're going to be using Chameleon's host, so we'll go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache as it shouldn't take too long at all. There's 30%. There's 50. Eighty, ninety, and one hundred. So we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect from the internet here. We'll just go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, go over to settings, go to network, and uncheck connect to the internet. Go ahead and back out of there and launch our browser again. And we're going to be going with Goal 10 2.0 B2. So we'll go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few moments here. It shouldn't take too long and it will pop up with insert our USB. Can take up to 30 seconds, but it's usually within the 20 second mark. So that's about 10 seconds there, maybe 15. Okay, any moment we should see it pop up. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll wait for the message to tell us that it's an unsupported file system. There we go. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And Goal 10 2.0 B2 loaded. So we'll go ahead and unplug our USB as we don't need it anymore. We're going to be using the... Well, sometimes that comes up. I'm not sure what, uh, what the cause of that is, but it's no big deal. Um, we're going to be using Web Offline Activator, but uh, before we go ahead and select it, let's go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. We'll go over to our Power option, switch user, and we'll go ahead and create a new user. So I accept, uh, skip that part, and it doesn't matter for the name, we'll just name it User1, that is fine. Go ahead and confirm and hit OK. So now that we have the user created, if we go over to our Settings, and we try to go into Save Data Management, uh, Save Data on System Storage, B. It doesn't let us do it without being connected to the PSN. Um, we try it the other way as well, Save Data on our USB and try to copy it to our System Storage. It does come up with the same error. So what we can do is go ahead and back out of that, we'll go over to Power, go ahead and log out of that user. Now you don't have to log out of this particular user to do it, it's just that I don't have anything in its favorites. So it's easier to do it from Echo Stretch because I have all the web the web links already here. So go ahead and open up our browser. And we're going to use the web offline activator. Go ahead and select it. And we'll give it uh, 15 to 20 seconds here. It shouldn't take too long and it will pop up. Okay, not enough memory. Sometimes that does happen. We'll just let it go again. Okay, that's about 10 seconds or so. Okay, any moment it should come up. Okay, it seems to be taking a little longer, but it will eventually come up. We'll just give it a couple of more seconds, and we should see it. And there we go. 
Okay, so you can see that Echo Stretch does have its unique user ID, but our user one just has zero zero, and it's continuous. So if you do have your user ID, you can go ahead and type it in. I recommend if you have a keyboard, go ahead and plug it in. It'd be a lot easier than actually uh, typing something out. But uh, for the video, we're just going to randomly generate one. So we can go ahead and just click on user. And as you can see, it does come up with a unique user ID. I um, mean, you can click on this as many times as you want. But uh, once you do get one, you can go ahead and hit set and activate and PSN ID set successfully. So we go ahead and hit it OK. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And we're going to go ahead with a restart just to take so everything takes effect. So we'll go ahead and power options and restart. And we'll let that just restart. OK, so once it does restart, we can go into user 1. We can go over to our settings. Go ahead down to our application save data management. Save data on system storage. Copy to USB. Now we don't have any data because this is a new account that we created. But you can see that we do have the options to do that now. We can back out of there and try it with uh, save data on USB storage. And copy to system storage. And the same as there is no save data. So basically that's it for the video guys. I just want to jump on and show you that that web activator is available for those users that don't have a PC or are unable to actually uh, get that set. Hopefully you'll be able to get your user ID and jump on that website there and go ahead and activate it. But I did do hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.